welcome to my channel. Today I am making a tag flip for Happy Mail using my wild hair kit for the month of April. And um, I have been loving making tag flips lately. I've been having so much fun doing it and trying out different styles, different sizes. And um, this kit that I got this month was so great for making tag mail. So all I'm doing is I'm tracing a pre-made tag that I have, but I didn't want all my tags to be the same size. So I just traced um, this another tag that's the same size and just cut like within the lines rather than like on the line so that it was a different size. And then I was trying to get creative with what I had left because I didn't have a lot left, but I had these tags on my chipboard so what I decided to do with those is, sorry, I'm out of frame a little bit. You'll see it in a second, but I am going to back the tags with white cardstock so that um, they're not sticky on the back and I can use them in my tag flip. So it'll be thicker, but I don't care. I love that. It's great. Um, and I did start with a small ring and then I go to a medium ring and then I realize that I need a large one. So I also do the same with this chipboard piece, which is um, from the Maggie Holmes Sunny Days uh, chipboard. And I just cut it out. Um, well, I stick it on some white cardstock, cut it out, and then um, use my hole punch. Or like a, It's more of a heavy duty one. It's the one I use for my eyelet thing. Um, anyway, sorry, I don't know the name. If you really want to know, I can uh, find out. You can ask below and I'll get back to you. But um, yeah, and I just punched a hole at the top and I'm just gonna use that as one of my tags and the recipient is welcome to reuse it, but she doesn't have to. Um, I am getting to the end of my kit. That's why I don't have much chipboard left and everything. So um, yeah, I was trying to get creative on what I should do. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do the tags smallest to biggest and um, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna do the tag smallest to biggest. And uh, so this will be the front of my tag flip. And I think I write hello, I don't know, hello you um, on the front with these little freckled fawn alphas, which I love. And I didn't have many enamel dots left, so I am gonna use these really fun gold gem things that I got for my pen pal Tina. So I'm gonna use those. And um, yeah, they're really cute. I use them throughout the entire flip book. And then I'm going to take this acrylic piece that is from, um, the name has slipped my mind. It'll probably come to me. It's in my unboxing video that I posted on the 2nd of April. So you can see that if you're interested. Um, Bramble Fox. There we go. I knew it'd come to me. That's the company name. So anyway, I didn't want it to be all a uh, chipboard all in a row, but they were the smallest and I wanted to go smallest to biggest. So I found these little uh, tags that my mom actually gave me. She's like, oh, you could probably use those because she knows she knows my happy mail business. So uh, not actual business. Um, so she gifted me those because I guess she only needed a couple. Um, and I'm going to use, I use my hot glue gun a lot throughout this because I just find it's more stable and, and I don't know, my adhesive isn't that reliable. So I'm just going to do a bunch of layers and I'm using some foam to elevate some of the, the pieces. And I really love how this one came together. Um, I was really, really pleased with it. I love that I used the, um, the chipboard tags, I think that really helped because it would have just been very like papery otherwise. So I'm going to keep that in mind for next time. And, um, I'm going to use some of this pink thread that I just had in my stash and that adds a nice different texture to the project and more of these little gems. I basically use those on every single one and it really helped bring the entire project together. So this is where I move on to the medium one and quickly I realize I should probably just do the large one <laughs> because the chipboard was just so thick, which is good. I mean, I like a big chunky piece of mail, so it didn't bother me at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue decorating and continue embellishing, looking through 
all of the um, all of the ephemera that came in my kit. I got two ephemera packs this month, so I got pretty lucky with that. So I had tons to work with, and it's gotten me through a lot of projects. I can't wait to show you at the end of the month all of the projects I've done. Um, I, at least I think... Let me just double check. I did so many projects this month that I was spilling into May a little bit. No, okay. Well, it might be May that you see this. May 1st. I think it's May 1st today. <laughs> this is, I'm filming these way ahead of time. So I'm trying to make like a little schedule of every day since I'm doing 30 days of videos. So anyway, um, it might be May 1st today and you saw the video yesterday of everything I've made. But that's okay. You can look at that video if you want to see everything else that I made, I guess. Um, okay, so attaching another tag. And I have two more tags to go. And still some ephemera to work with, which is great. And again, using my hot glue gun to adhere everything. And uh, like I said, it makes it really stable and secure. And I'm going to bring you more of that thread. I'm totally loving using thread and Happy Mail. Just add something, something different and uh, yeah, definitely a, a texture that's different than paper, which is, is great because obviously paper crafting is a lot of paper. <laughs> so it's good to have that other texture in your projects. And then it brings in another color too, which is great. So I'm just flicking through everything, seeing what will look best. This is a little acetate piece that I put on top. And then I'm going to use these alphabet tile stickers to, I think I put Hey Girl or something like that. <laughs> Same kind of general sentiment. Um, not very creative, but uh, I didn't have an idea. I, I, I didn't have an idea of who this was going to yet. So, um, so yeah. Then tuck that in, make another layer, and put that on the ring. And then I didn't know what to do on the last one. And then I remembered that I have these pre-made embellishments sitting on my desk that I made with my kit earlier in the month. And I was like, uh, this is perfect. I'm just going to use one of my pre-made embellishments and stick it on this tag. And it looks awesome. So that kind of saved me and I think it looks great. You couldn't even tell that these were separate pieces originally. So definitely a little lifesaver there. I feel like at the beginning of every month when I get my kits, I should make some handmade embellishments because that kind of worked out well for me. <laughs> kind of saved me a bit because I was a little stumped. Um, and now I am trying to find what kind of like string or ribbon I want to put on the ring. Um, and these didn't come in my kit, but they are a special little thing I wanted to add to my tag flip because it does add, uh, yeah, something special to it. So I was looking through my little box, trying to figure out what, what would look, look nice in it. And I find some little tassels and things that I put on that I think are just from pen pals. So I take the ribbon off and uh, I put some some tassels and things on. And uh, yeah, so I think that completed it and made it feel, feel, yeah, complete and whole. And uh, yeah, finished it off nicely. So here are some close-ups if you would like to see. Those are the tassels that I was just telling you about. And yeah, I'm really like liking going smallest to biggest. I don't know what it is about it. I used to think that was a little odd, but I like it. So this is the completed project. Let me know what you think. If uh, I hope you're feeling inspired and it makes you want to go and craft because that's what I love about watching other people's videos. And I hope you have a wonderful day. So thank you so much for watching and tuning in and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.